All right, guys, so welcome back here to DreamHack Winter. Get on Cordon alongside Lurpus, and we're already in the knife round here between NIP and Very Games. And we've seen this finals time and time again, and every single one of those, NIP has been able to run home with it, which makes sense because they have not lost a single match in any Counter-Strike Global Offensive at a major tournament. They, ha they haven't even lost a single map. That's what I uh, that's yeah. Yeah, in yeah. reference to, yes. Yeah. On land, they haven't lost a single map, and that is that is a frightening statistic. All right, so let's see here. Looks like they probably looks like they may stay on this side. I was just figuring out exactly what they're going to be doing here. This uh, should be starting here soon. Uh, but again, a quick little roster run down here for very games. We have Kenny S, RPK, Existence. Nathan, that's also known as MBK, and also Smith, so here for Very Games, the French team. And over on the Swedish side for NIP, we've got Freiburg, as well as Get Right for Flaren, Forest, and Exist. Of course, players really be on the lookout for, and you, if you haven't been watching at all, then you've missed out on a, a lot of great action from Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, but Get Right and Force are definitely two to be on the lookout for. Freiburg's actually been playing extremely well. Exist has been consistent. And Fuflaren in these later games have been really pretty dominant with that AWP. Yeah, we've uh, we've seen very dominant play from just about everyone here. Even Fuflaren was actually playing well in the uh, in the semifinal second map. I think it was like 19 and 10. It's a good score. So you know, I'm pretty sure we could find a map in this tournament where every single player on e on either either uh, either team on this final has played very well. All right, looks like NIP is now ready. And guess Very Games had done their huddle about 10 minutes ago, because otherwise we wouldn't be live right now. Uh, so here we are with NIP and Very Games. Looks like we're going to have Very Games starting off on the counter terror side here against NIP. We're on DE Dust 2, game one of the finals for Counter Strike Global Offensive. Right off the bat, we've got Forrest kind of spamming inside of mid there with Flaren. No damage has been caused. We're going to take a look here at the overview. you got Smiths moving up here towards the catwalk area. you got three guys moving here inside of tunnels. We're going to switch back over here and see what we have for Get Right. And Get Right is sitting outside of outside of the B tunnels, just waiting for Very Games to kind of pass through. We'll see if he's going to try to go in there, if he might just stand, stand outside. Very Games has now cleared the B tunnels. They think there's no one there, but RPK uh -oh. is still holding for Get Right. Right there still, we got some there. gunfire that's happening right now. That was over there towards a long A. NBK had spotted a couple members there. Let's go and take a look here at the bomb carrier. We're on board here with Fuflaren. They've got one member to worry about up on top of Catwalk. 30 seconds into this round, and no one has been scathed at this point here. Let's see what happens. The RPK able to take down Get Right. That was over towards the B tunnel. Still moving up. Nice nade able to connect there. Dropping for Flaren down to 50 HP. Another nade raining in. MBK able to finish off one. Here comes the NIP able to pick up two so far. As it's now going to be down to a three on one. RPK all by himself now. Is he going to be able to push up here towards Catwalk? He held on to this uh, P2000. And he's going to get dropped there. Uh, by Those Freiburg's were... Glock, as now the score is going to be one to zero to kick things off here in the grand finals for CS:GO. And those were some three huge kills by Freiburg, who only had a Glock that round, and he still managed to get three kills in a situation where NIP was actually they all two very games members were low on health, but still it, it wasn't looking good for NIP. They needed to get those kills instantly to not allow the Frenchman to reset. Spamming there, getting those three shot burst down. Range is going to be forced and exist. And it looks like none of them had connected at this point. We've got, uh, right now, we got three P250s that I can see here for Very Games. Make that four in the hands of also with NVK as well. And ex uh, Existence is actually taking a lot of gunfire there, but uh, Get Right will go down. As we take a look here at the overview, you can see Existence was over here inside of the B tunnels. Back over here to Witch Smith. Smith's going to be under a lot of gunfire here in just a second. He's back, backing away as quick as he can. Flashbang's coming over the top. He has a teammate to be able to regroup right here. What's going to Existence? Able to pick up another one with that Galil. He's able, uh, again, that came from Get Right earlier. And so now it's going to be down to a four on two. And it looks like Very Games is going to try to make something happen here. Let's go and switch back over here towards the other side. We're on board here with Forrest. Down to a two on four. And Freiburg's still alive as well here. And everyone low on health that's currently alive. RPK and Kenny S have 56 health, and that's the most out of everybody. Forrest has 40 and Freiburg 34. Oh, nice headshot coming in there from existence. That's his third frag in the round. He's able to start things off uh, with uh, just a P250. 
and the rest the rest of them have actually come from a Galil. Now it's going to be left up to Forrest. Down to a one-on-four, 25 seconds left. This is going to be a huge round for Vary Games, as, again, you've had uh, NIP actually buy uh, multiple weapons, even trying to go even stronger, as they had two AKs, one of which was from Forrest, and the other one from Exist. 13 seconds left here. As there goes Forrest, able to connect there, shutting down Existence. So that Galil has now been dropped. It looks like Forrest is just trying to save this AK so his team can force by next round. They know exactly where he's at. He's gonna, they're going to go ahead and try to be able to push up. Forrest able to take down RPK. He's trying to stay alive. And he ducks into the corner and he saves the AK. But in the end, Very Games taking that round as now scores going to be one to one uh, here between these two teams. And NIP, of course, on a buy round. Um, they don't have a lot of money, but they can afford a pretty reasonable buy. Much better than Very Games had last round. And they're going to try to get the control back of the game right here. We see now Freiburg has actually moved over there towards the beat tunnels, opposed to actually having Get Right. Get Right is now inside of mid. You got two inside of the B bomb site, being RPK and Kenny S. And Smith down inside of CT spawn, two over there towards long A. And right now, Forrest and Get Right are holding AKs. Freiburg and Exist have Deagles, and Fifth Flyer and only has a Glock. So. NIP is definitely going to need Forrest and Get Right to get a couple of entries to allow them an ent entry into the A site that they are look to be attacking just any second now. Figure out exactly who's about to have to handle this one. That's going to be existence. He's over there. Here comes some flashbangs. He's going to looks like they're going to try to retake this bomb site as they're still kind of pushing up here. He spots one. Nope. No one has actually connected. No damage has been dealt at this point here between. Very cautious uh, gameplay coming from both teams. Let's go back over here to Existence. MBK tossing out that flashbang. Good little counter for a good little pop flash that happens here for Existence. As now he's going to be completely blind having to back away now. As you can see, they've got uh, those players going to start to move in here towards the bomb site. Bomb carrier is going to be Exist, who's going to get that bomb planted inside of the A side. And Freiberg very, very passively still sitting outside of the long A. Looks like he is indeed going to rotate all the way back to Catwalk and not try to risk NBK still holding. It. All right, let's see where things are going to open up here. We've got Existence picking up one. Now it's going to be down to a two on five. Freiberg now on the rotate. He's all by himself. That bomb was planted for uh, kind of the inside of the site. And Kenny S with a nice AK headshot. And now Very Games takes the lead two to one. I think we're going to have a lot more of an interesting game now. Because right now, just looking at the, just how they're hitting their shots, their playing style, is a lot different than what we've seen from Barry Games in the group play. It's, it's really it's, early, but just, just paying attention I was, to the I way was the just players... I just going to say that. It certainly looks so, but it is early to say. You can never really judge how a game is going to go just a couple of rounds in. But we'll see once uh, once NIP gets the save out of the way and they get full weapons, and we'll just see, we'll see some proper kind of strike with both teams fully equipped. Just remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll revisit it. Sounds good. As uh, right now, we've got to uh, see they're going to be set up. Watch out for uh, Smith, who's pushing up there towards Catwalk. He has a teammate that's right there with him. That's going to be NBK. Switch back over to him as he's tossing out a nice little uh, flash. And Exist has already been hit down to very low health. Smith wow, actually has gotten some damage. He's down to 40. We'll see if NIP can possibly get a bomb plan or even just a single kill here. That could potentially make a big difference in the future rounds. Yeah, right now, of course, if uh, they're on a save round. And they are grouping up on Catwalk, so Switch it's going to be here. Existence holding it by himself. Back over to Existence. One headshot to count there with the M4. Tossing out the flash is going to be both of those teammates. I believe that was NBK with them as well. Bob's trying to get planted. That's a fire, Bob. It's going to cut off that offense as they try to cross. RPK able to pick up one. And now it's going to be left up to get right. He's stuck in a spot that he is not going to get out of. 3-1 to one now is the score here in favor of Barry Games over NIP. It's been good play by uh, by Very Games so far. They played smart, smart Counter Strike as Counter Terrorist. They made a presence in Catwalk early on, did a little push, let NIP know they might be playing there, and then rotated all the way back to Long, confusing NIP a little bit. They're not not really giving their playing style out, which makes it harder to counter. You got from Flaren right there inside of mid, who's just trying to get some pop shots down range there with that AWP. Another smoke being lofted out there, all the way. They need to be on the lookout now for lower B. And that is going to be Existence down there, taking a look as they're pushing up. I was, uh, again, that, that smoke was set up so they can kind of move up there. Nice little flash coming in from Barry Games up on top of Catwalk. Right now, trying to figure out exactly where they're going to hit. They've got two guys inside of B. That's Kenny S and RPK. We may be seeing a 3-2 split here in just a second from these guys. Smoke's probably going to end up right here in just a moment. 
As there goes that smoke is going to hop into the action going to go and start to push in here inside of me. They've got one to worry about. That's going to be uh, as we see that RBK has picked up multiple. But Blaren can't connect here with that AWP struggling and Kenny S. Huge AK as again, but Blaren missed one, missed two, and then he gets popped in the dome by the AK from Kenny S. Four to one now is the score. Remember what I said. <laughs> and I think it's going to be important for the rifle players of NIP to keep keep very games as low uh, money at a low low amount all the time because if they keep buying three ops and connecting their shots the Florian isn't going to be able to win three op three op, op duels against separate people every single round no. it's tall order to win even just one considering kenny s has to be considered a stronger offer than him by now let's go and switch over here to smith as he's probably gonna have to counter again and we've seen this angle several times of course most of the time we've been on board with the existence he's gonna get drawn in there uh by for Flarin. I think that was actually Forrest after taking a look now. And wrapping back around, he's got his teammates. They've actually made their way kind of over there towards that gear spot. Beautiful nade. And that's going to take out one. Actually, that was from Existence. That nade ended up causing uh, some damage there. Uh, Existence being slowed down uh, to be able to move in there side to side. The bomb is getting planted here. No, it does not end up getting planted. He gets slowed down. And he, he thought he was planning when he was blind, but he needed to move a little further to the left. That Smith gets two kills. RPK gets the last one. Wow. And that's going to make it fight to one for very games, which is coincidentally more rounds than they got last time they played this map. Let's see what they end up deciding to do. You had mentioned they need to not have that much pressure on Fafler and to have to be able to make all these shots with the off, but he does have an off in hand again. Let's see if he can actually make this shot count. Uh, really, the, it's a tough battle to kind of work against. There's another smoke that kind of gets popped there inside of mid. He's just trying to make the best shot. Of course, immediately goes for that uh, that mid boost that we've seen a couple times now. We've actually seen a lot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive players here in this tournament check that spot now. And Get Right just al already rushed up Catwalk and jumped into CT spawn. He's already in the CT spawn, and Very Games is now completely unaware of what is going on. NIP has taken over the A bomb site, and Get Right has cut out the CT spawn rotation. So Very Games are in trouble this round. Oh, look at that! You've got uh, Exist through the smoke, headshotting Existence down long A. Is now it's going to be down to a three on four. Kenny S pushing up there. He's actually he's he's going to hold back there with his teammate RPK. Let's see if we've got for Nathan. Uh, it looks like it looks like Very Games are indeed trying to save their weapons. Forrest is already on the chase in the B tunnels. He spots one but gets taken down by Kenny S. He missed the shot in the middle and wasn't exist. able to connect the second time. And Exist is now the second person on the chase. Checking through the tunnels there. Bomb's going to explode. He's going to push out here in just a second. Able to take out one. Can he make it two? And he does. So both of those weapons have been taken away. Of course, when we look at the economy here. Tons and tons of money. It's just very flowing. Very pocket in. still. Over 10K on some of the members. Kenny S with 14 and a half K. And NBK managed to save an op. So that's also that's also pretty big for them. So no no saves needed for the, for the Frenchman anytime soon. And that smoke will... Uh block up there inside of mid double doors and the Flaren is kind of just stuck in this situation right now as we take a look here see what we've got extends under a lot of gunfire he's gonna get taken out as we see there's some action going on get right just causing some uh, make that uh, forest actually as he was causing, causing a ruckus inside of B here comes some flashbangs over there towards catwalk Smith is actually gonna push straight through and he checks his spots properly he's able to take down one for Flaren goes down here comes a headshot coming in from the AK from exist as now it's going to be down to a two on three. As Exist spraying with the AK, one on two now. They've got one over there on towards the catwalk. That's going to be Kenny S with the AWP. And one of the players that we've mentioned all tournament long who hasn't been uh, showing his true potential is Kenny S. And he's sitting at eight and two, scoring now six to two here in favor of Barry Games. That is true. He's been, he's been fairly inconsistent, although... To be fair, he he has been showing some of his potential in terms of just highlight rounds. Right. He just hasn't been able to manufacture the same kind of play on a consistent level from round to round or match to match. Four oh. round lead here in favor of the French. And I, I was just going to add that he has been on point in the final, though. No, uh, that's no what that's why, that's that. what my whole basis was off of is watching Kenny S and how he controlled his AK in that uh, third round, I believe. And existence once again going down early, and this is. Uh, is 
fairly bad for the Frenchman. Of course, Kenny has picked up a nice shot on the get right in the middle there. And IP now crossing crossing long already. They are getting on top of the A site where they're going to see NBK. Wow, is taken NBK up by pushed Exist. out way too far. There's no purpose. with a second kill there. And this is going to allow NIP to get the bomb planted in a four on two situation. And look at this. We actually have Kenny S. He's going to be pushing over there. And uh, I, I kind of assumed that they would go for the save prior to them throwing those flashes. That's going to keep them inside the side a little bit longer so they don't go chasing for them off the start. So a smart call there by uh, Varied Games. Just pushing up, lofting in those flashbangs, and then falling back. But again, now the score's going to be 6-3 to three here in favor of Varied Games. NIP, we saw what they did against Mouse Sports. Again, Mouse Sports led 9-0, to zero, and they came back to win that matchup. That is true, and we'll see if NIP can mount this mount a similar comeback here. What Very Games has been doing and what's been working for them so far is doing something that surprises NIP. We've seen multiple people just pushing into B tunnels, doing aggressive stuff off the catwalk. They basically haven't allowed NIP to just read them and force them to play a standard setup where they play passive A, allow NIP to get on top of A, and then just try to hold off the retake. They've been doing things to surprise NIP, and that's taken them off their comfort zone so far. All right, right now we've got three members heading over here towards that long A. Bomb's going to get dropped off here. Pretty typical. Uh, they realize that they're probably going to be on some type of save, but that's as we look at it, you can see that they're not. The very Games is pretty good on money across the board there. And so we'll see what happens here as Freiburg takes out one. Smith's finally going to pick up one with that AWP. Make that two. Can he connect with a third? No, it's not going to happen as Freiburg ends that kill streak. And that's going to be left up to those who saved their weapons. That was Kenny S and RPK down to a two on three. Bombs being tossed across here, utilizing every bit of that smoke, even at the high point here. The bomb or that smoke grenade was tossed down below, and he can still hide behind it in the top side of A. Now it's going to be pushing up here. Nice headshot coming in by Exist. Kenny S also connecting, still pushing up here towards that to A side. And he's looking all around except where he needs to be for Flair and picking up that AK. And that actually was his first frag of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we've got here for Varied Games and NIP for a quick highlight, as this will be a save round coming in for Varied Games. Another look here. We've got uh, Exist here in this round. See what happens. See, this is that headshot that happened there through the smoke while he was just spamming away. And that right there just kind of made sure that they kind of held them back uh, there through that smoke again this is going to be uh, as we look at it here in the uh 11th round six to four there kenny s and the rest of his crew are not on a save but now their money is basically starting to get zeroed out they had a lot of money to work with previously before they've been able to save a lot of their weapons throughout the game uh but uh this round is actually going to make an impact here that it will indeed uh, uh very games is finally down to very low amount of money their richest per member is Kenny S with $1,300, so if if NIP manages to win this round, Very Games will have to save. And it looks like they have decided to attack the B site through middle. They're going to start to be able to push up here and see if RPK can kind of hold his own. He's going to get shut down there, switching back over to Kenny S. He's in a really tough spot because now it's going to be a 3-2 split on both sides, and immediately they're going to go for a save. They've already allowed the NIP to go ahead and have that bomb site. They're saving these weapons. That they are, or hoping to anyways, because NIP will be so chasing long. them down. And there's and there's plenty of time right now on the clock for them to find them. We'll just see if, they're, if they'll be able to kill them or not. They already immediately went to check to see where they're at. Existence just got headshotted by, I believe it was Fiflarin. No, it was couldn't have been Fiflarin. Maybe Freiburg in CT base. Tossing out that uh, firebomb, making sure he can stay alive longer. And now, uh-oh, we might have an issue for Smith. He's having a backup. He's going to get taken out. Now it's going to be even tougher here uh, for Existence as he's going to get eliminated and as well. So I was trying to surf through. And now MBK, can he stay alive? They're going to be able to push out there. He sprays. No, it's not going to happen. So all three weapons have all been taken away from very games. And there is now going to be a complete save. Uh, not necessarily a complete save, but they'll probably do some type of save. Uh, here for very games. Yeah, it, it, I'm not sure if the complete save exists. I don't. I don't. Maybe the word "full" just isn't in the French vocabulary. <laughs> full save. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's there. Some someone maybe look it up. Um, yeah. Very games are pushing catwalk though, trying to do something aggressive. Exist. Exist has been very good so far in the final. He just picks up another two two kills right there, sitting at the top of the scoreboard with a score of 14 and 8, way higher than anyone else on the server. 
Searching through, you can see that you got existence with a little battle going on over there towards Long ADD. He's got uh, got his teammates to regroup with him. I think he's going to actually continue to push up here towards those Long A double doors. The bomb carrier of Freiburg is actually rotating right now through the T-spawn to regroup with his teammates over there towards his side. Of course, we have the capability seeing him. Look at that. That's a perfect little pickup there. It's, I believe now he's got... Uh, actually just get a, got a grenade to work with there. They probably made the smart choice and moved that AK somewhere else. And get right is just chasing down <laughs> chasing down kills there. You see T spawn picks up two kills. I mean there really is no reason for NIP to on the be on be on a chase right now because very games are saving their weapons. Get right of course is gonna find existence any second and gets his third kill of the round but NIP is just getting getting confident now. They are going for kills that they don't really even necessarily need to go for. As we take a look here at the scoreboard, you can see that Existence is sitting at 9 and 8. Kenny S at 11 and 5, 9 and 6 there for RPK. Smith's at 8 and 8. And NBK at 3 and 7 there for Barry James. And NBK really has been, well, statistically disappointing so far in this game. He's been huge for Barry Games in their earlier wins, so he'll definitely have to step it up a notch if Barry Games wants to keep winning rounds against NIP, who have now won, I believe, four in a row. They stacked over there towards the B bomb site for this round. As we take a look here, you can see uh, we might have Kenny S here in just a moment. Uh, he may get picked off. He spots one. He immediately reacts. And, and that he... Nate Beautiful connects, able to take down uh, Get Right inside of mid. As we wrap yeah. back around, you can see the bomb carry going to start to be able to move up here. That's going to be for Flair. And he has a teammate that's already up there towards that catwalk side. Let's go and see what happened over here on this side. MBK. Kenny be able to make things happen. Great round so far here for Barry Games. As now it's going to be left up to the bomb carrier. That's going to be for Flaren, as he's got an op in hand. They've got a lot uh, of money to work with, so that's not a concern. 45 seconds left here in the round. They're basically holding him down in that position. You can see this Kenny S has actually rotated back. See, Flaren's hope right now is to, oh, get, is to take out a, as take MBK out a gun or out. two. Because Barry Games is still very low on money, so even though obviously they'll buy after winning a round, They'll be on a much weaker equipment if Biflarin can get one or two more kills. Just enough. And he's going to spot one. That's going to bring, bring out the other player as well. And seven to six. So finally, Barry Games decides to show back up into this game and take the lead yet again here. Seven to six over NIP. It's promising to be a pretty interesting final so far with the way things are going. That's for sure. You take a look here and see where everyone sits. Freiburg sitting at 6,200 after the buy. So definitely set across the board. See if uh, we can get this quick boost up here. That was going to be Smith's. As he's going to rotate over here towards Cowalk. He's got one to be able to worry about. I believe that's Get Right. And Get Right headshot into Smith's. And now it's going to be down to a four on four. As there was an early exchange. And Freiburg was taken out. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's probably going to end up. Heading over here towards Catwalk and see if MBK can hold his own. They're wrapping back around here. We've got the may do a 3-1 split. Nice shot by Kenny as you can take a look where he was. He was inside of mid. RPK holding it down inside of B. You've got existence over inside top A, regrouping with his teammate NBK. On the other side, we can see that existence inside of mid. Two players starting to work over there towards long A, switching back over to existence, who's going to be on the defense here. Kiflarn is currently looking for him on top of the A with this op double scoped in. It looks like someone is going to peek him from down low and he is not waiting for it. That's Kenny S. Oh, beautiful. As, uh, there it goes for Flaren. Flaren's really been a t had a tough time with that op here in this game. As uh, right now, let's go and take a look here. You got one player moving up. RPK, He I don't know if he's aware of it. He's got one player to look out for, and that's going to be Exist, who's really been playing extremely well. He's going to get uh, dropped, though, by RPK. As uh, there comes Kenny S missing with that first off shot, but so much damage being exchanged by RPK. Eight to six now here in favor of Very Games. This is looking good for Very Games. They uh they fell back around there a little in the middle part of the half, but eight to six or possibly even nine, eight to seven or uh, rather, or possibly even nine to six half as counter terrorists is very strong. Of course, you can never count an IP out. I mean, they did score 13 rounds on Very Games as counter-terrorist at ESWC, but at the same time, they really struggled against Mouse Sports in the semifinals, so it's anyone's game right now. Nades being lofted out there inside of mid. Right now, we've got Smith, who's watching over here towards uh, Catwalk from Long A. 
existence going to be working here inside of mid he can wrap up and toss a flashbang right here off this point so let's go and hop in here and see exactly uh, let's keep it from their perspective there's exists he's going to go ahead and push up there freiberg able to shut down smith and that flashbang here comes that counter flash but force drops down able to take down existence and now the bomb's going to get planted here inside of the a bomb site inside of top a get right is currently in the lower b tunnel area he knows no one can come from cat but to be kills by very games members makes it, it makes it a close round nonetheless and mbk's last man standing long range with the m4 now they all know where he's at in this 1v3 great flash coming out and there goes it's going to be exist taking advantage of that situation eight to seven is going to be your first half score here in favor of very games as we head here to the second half in the grand finals here for the counter-strike global offensive sponsored by logitech and a big shout out to kingston hyperx as well as thor we'll see if we actually can get underway fairly quickly or we talked about this before usually when the tournament gets fur gets further and further in the playoffs teams tend to take longer and longer breaks as there's more at stake but it looks like we have actually gone live very quickly usually actually that's one of the things that uh, over there whenever speaking with the admin Nixon uh, from HLTV uh, is the fact is this is the way that the rules are set up there's no halftime it's just no, that's, go how, straight that's into how it's always one. been but that's how it's never been in just in making sure that there's no technical issues. No, no technical issues. Yeah, right now we can see. Nice. Uh, let's see if uh, Kenny S can stay alive. Smith's right there to be able to help him out. They're going to be heading over there towards that uh, long A. It's going to switch back over here to see what they've got going. As uh, being fired upon, Kenny S is going to wrap it there inside the site. Bomb's going to get planted just behind the box inside of A. And so they're going to have to force themselves to push up. So the player that's moving over there towards long, uh, which is actually Smith's, Looks like he's going to try to rotate and get the flank here. Force is actually oh, almost had the perfect chance to catch him. He's going to go ahead and start to be able to push in here for Flair and able to pick up one. Remember, Smith is on the flank right now. Let's go and see if he's going to be effective here. And it looks like he may not be as he does take out one, but the defuse is still going on. And that's going to be able to finish off one of them. He actually takes out uh, takes out one of them and for Flair and takes out his teammate. Luckily enough for, for Flair, uh, that was early. Like, uh, so they ended up getting the defuse. And that's going to even up the game at eight with, we'll see. I, I really don't see very games saving anymore. I think they're always just going to go for their little buys, but it seems, it seems like they actually haven't bought all that much this time. It's As you can see, what actually happened uh, for, for Flaren, they gave them, the money actually went to them because they, they won the round on the defuse and then Flaren killed his teammate, which took away three thirty three hundred bucks. Oh yeah, that's interesting. So that is in, it was after in, yeah. Because in CS:GO, you get the money at the end of the at, towards the end of the round as soon as you actually win the round. So he actually lost he all lost of his money. money. He lost everything that he got. So that's the reason why he's sitting at no armor and only a uh, P two thousand to work with. He does have some uh, flashes to work with. Pushing inside the side is going to be Kenny S. He's able to pick up one. They're going straight for this bomb plant. Luckily enough, uh, here for NIP is it was a save round but very games getting that bomb planted and uh, they chose the exact spot that they needed to hit and that was a big blow for nip to allow very games to plant because that means first of all if you still isn't going to have a ton of cash for this next round and uh very games now can afford a full buy and we see kenny s has already purchased us and up that was really interesting I, that just just watching that and seeing that they won the round, and they immediately they get the they get the money for the defuse, and then Flaren got uh, he took out his teammate, which which takes away thirty three hundred bucks uh, for the TK, and so everything that he just won has now been ripped away. And so luckily enough, though, for NIP, they're going to be fine in in all scheme of things. Uh, but now you've got Very Games, uh, who's got weapons to work with. Existence has actually bought a Galil for this round. We've got two AWPs, one from Kenny S and one from Smiths. And right now, very here. games is just taking it slow. They're just setting up all across the map, just tr trying to take over areas, find out how exactly NIP is playing, and they're probably gonna just set up for their attack wherever they choose to go in about 20 seconds. But here's here's for Flaren. He's, he's watching. Let's see if we can go and hop over to his perspective while we have a chance. Drawing in that that fire grenade, their firebomb. The reason why they tossed in that spot is usually you have some players that pivot off that box. Instead, though, 
You have Flutharian pivoting off of the A ramp, which gives them two different uh, perspectives, kind of a headshot line as well. Nice job, though, utilizing that FAMAS to its fullest uh, in burst fire. And that was an important kill by Flutharian, too. RPK, all, though, that's how... a big kill, too, as well. You're spreading out that defense, and now they have to figure out what they need to do here. And they are going to attack the B bomb site right now. All of two of very games, all three of very games members are now already inside the bomb site. Uh -oh. And it looks like Ga Kenny S is going to try to plant the bomb while well, NIP is slightly late to the rotation. They're all up against the wall. See if they're going to start to be able to slam down here on the side. Can they be able to hold their own? Pushing inside the side. But Flair gets taken out. Huge hold by RPK. Taking down three. And it's now down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Smith right there. He's able to spot him inside the window. And he gets taken out by Get Right. And the score is now 10 to 8 in favor of NIP. Huge retake uh, there by NIP. Very Games RPK. Doing a great individual job, picking off three of them, but it just wasn't enough. That was a really important clutch for NIP by Get Right, and it's also a little interesting that Kenny has chose to go for the pick in a window. I feel like he was a little late to go in for that pick, and IP had already rotated. If he went there just a little bit earlier, it would have been a great idea because they needed to get a pick when they're low, uh, down in numbers. But I feel like that was just a bad timing for it. As right now, we can see how they're early off. We have Force and Flutharian picking up some kills. They did go for the buy, and look how quick this round is going in favor of NIP. It is now left to RPK, one on five. And what a turnaround from those three kills from RPK last round. From looking like they wow. were going to even win next last round to then getting shut down in just a matter of seconds on the following one, and now being broke and having to save, giving NIP their 12th round. That's just a big, big change in the game. Taking a look, seeing whether or not, we, I mean, I, I never know with Barry Games whether or not they're going to save or buy or what, how they want to kind of have some type of mix. But this time, which is probably the first time that we've seen in a while, uh, they actually go for a pretty convenient save. They've got uh, two P250s to work with. Make that three, as I see it's from RPK, Existence, and NBK. No, uh, there is only one flashbang to work with. And uh, you've got Smith and Kenny S who went for a complete save this round. That they did indeed. And it looks like Barry Games once again taking their time. And it looks like they are eventually going to hit Catwalk before their members headed towards that way right now. And NBK as usual outside along. Existence right now peeking out of middle looking for a peek. But it doesn't seem like anyone from NIP is out there to be picked up. Oh, this actually may be a smoke that Existence has in turn. He may be smoking up inside of mid. We may see a three-man make that a four-person push here in just a moment. And he gets taken out there. So let's go and see if they're going to be able to push in here toward the side. Freiburg down low on health. We saw him pivot on that box before. Here comes MBK on the other side, though. A lot of action happening here inside this bomb site as they do take out Forrest. Now it's going to be down to a three-on-three. Three. MBK, that's a big kill, able to take down Exist. But they're all low on health. No armor across the board. Get right is still alive. That's something to definitely be on the lookout for. Pushing inside the side, playing very tight is going to be Kenny S. See if he might be able to get this kill. Going to be pushing here through the window here in just in a moment. RPK has to be able to get the perfect cover fire. Now it's going to be down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Backing up is going to be Flair, and He only has an op hand. Bombs taken away. He does not have the time to be able to play with this. He's going to go ahead and back out of there. And very games on this eco round will end up Picking it up by pushing up inside of mid and making things happen. 11 to 9 now is the score here in favor of NIP. We're in game one of this best of three in the grand finals for Counter Strike Global Offensive. And that was weak play by NIP to allow Very Games to just take over the entire site just like that. Like you said, they only purchased three P250s, and I believe that was one smoke to go, go along with them. So NIP definitely should be able to win routine rounds like that. And that definitely brings very games back into the game. If you look at, take a quick look at the money situation right now, both teams yep. are very low. So whoever loses this round will likely be on a save. And that could make very games ending up tying this game up at 11. And being on the terrorist side, that definitely works out in their favor. We take a look right now what the setup is. We've got two over here on top of Calc. That's going to be exist. Uh, they're going to have to be able to back up there as for Flair and got knocked down. Uh, to 47. Beautiful nades coming across. Very pinpoint, exactly where they should be landing. Just doesn't connect with them. Right there, you've got one. Still. And Beflarian's going to have to drop down here to. And I believe Exist actually is dropping down as well. 
We've it seen like I, a... NIP actually have a beautiful retake on that A bomb site. Let's take a look and see where they're at. You've got these four. One's going to be starting cause an action. And you still have NBK just shooting, causing some direct distraction over there. But we'll go and hop on board here with RPK. Smith's right there with the uh, AWP and the bomb. He's actually uh, leading the charge here as they enter inside the site. They're going to lose the bomb if he gets dropped as they're going to continue to move back around. Kenny S and Smith both going to work with that AWP. And right there, you can see how Forrest just goes to town on both those offers close range. But right now, NBK is left in an almost impossible 1v3 with just 15 seconds to go. And real looks like it's just a matter of time. Nice headshot by NBK. Make that two headshots. He doesn't really have much time to work with. You need to look out for get right. Bomb's getting planted. It's so loud. He knows where he's at and sprays down. That is just unfortunate in a sense there for him as uh, now you're getting, you can see uh, get right going to fall back pick up that awp for mclaren and he's going to come in here and get this defuse once again though nip Picks allowed up all that, the nades as well yeah nip allowed that um that round to become way too close they lost two more weapons and they're not going to have a lot of money for the next round and once again if very games do win the following round if they do go for a buy now which i don't i don't think they will but i think they should nip would have to save As right now it is 12 to 9 here in favor of NIP over Varied Games. And it looks like they are going to be on some type of save here. But we have seen a save round actually work out. As you can see, that's the reason why they're still holding on to a full nade set between RPK and Existence. Here comes Get Right. It's going to switch over to his POV. He's just kind of popping some shots here from Long A. He has his teammate to be able to help him out. That's going to be Exist. It's an there easy round for NIP. 13 to 9. It's going to make it, yeah, as he said, it's going to make it 13 to 9. And that is exactly how NIP should have taken care of that previous semi buy by Very Games that they allowed the Frenchman to win. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we've got. Take a look over on the other side here. You can see that you got an AK, an AK, as well as a Galil, and two AKs to follow that. We kind of spread throughout the map. You can see you've got two guys playing up. Very aggressive. This is where that boost happened before. You can see Foflaren actually boosted up higher. And he's going to go ahead and fall back. Get right, though. Spraying down long, A, eh? Picking up two. Foflaren over there on Catwalk, making things happen as well. As they're going to go ahead and push up there, you can see Get Right spraying away with six health. 14 to 9. Here in favor of NIP over Varied Games. Here in game one of this best of three in the finals here for DreamHack winner. And NIP is starting to run away with this game now a little bit. It looks like very games. Not really, not really in it the same way anyway. And look at this, very games are once again on a save round. They have once again, oh man, I keep repeating that, that uh, saying, but they have once again bought a lot of nades and some pistols, so they aren't just giving giving up this round. They're going to try to do something here. They spend about a grand on nades. And Spitz opens up the round there with a nice kill to Freiburg out in the middle area. And we'll see if they can capitalize on it. Existence is down to just one health point. And Forrest is all alone by the B site right now. So this could be tough. All right. So as we see right now, we've got... Uh... Very uh, existence does get taken out. Pushing inside the side, it's going to switch over to Forrest. Forrest able to take out one. Can he make? He's still struggling with those two inside the site. Now get right though. On the other hand, see if he can go to town here. Bomb carrier will get that bomb down. It wasn't in that traditional spot, so he finally takes out Kenny S. But they do get the bomb planted. They are looking to try to uh, take this into an overtime. And there goes RPK trying to play very aggressive over there towards the double doors. And that is going to give NIP map points in the first map of the grand final of DreamHack winner here. And Yun Choping. And NIP, let's just say, very games have looked better than they have so far in the tournament. But it looks like in the end, it just doesn't seem to be enough, at least so far, unless they can mount a major comeback here. They would need to win six rounds in a row. And NIP actually has an okay amount of money right now. They've only won one round on the T side here against NIP. And it was a save round. And IP are up 8 to 1, very similar to their 13 to 2 halftime score at ESWC just about three weeks ago. All right, so we take a look here, see what happens. Existence trying to make some shots happen there towards long A. 
Right up close. This time he changed his elevation. It was Freiburg. He usually plays over by the headshot box. And uh, coming inside the side, Forrest, though, chain, playing a little bit passive there inside of the B tunnels. Who's and missing that off shot? Kenny has under a lot of gunfire there towards long A. Actually, look at this. MBK pushing out of tunnels. He needed to get that kill to try to make it a one on two. Now he has to worry about Forrest over here as well. And Forrest doesn't have to push out on him just yet. Again, the bomb is so loud, as you can see. Nice little flash coming in there by Flaren. And that was actually Exist, who was inside the B tunnels. 16 19, game one goes to NIP over Berry Games. That was. Let, let's just say that NIP obviously aren't that strong on the T side of Dust2, at least against the very games. That, okay. we can, that we can say after watching that game. But their CT side against very games is amazing. I mean, they scored 13 rounds in Paris three weeks ago at ESWC. And now they went up 9-1 to one before ending. And you have to figure they were going to head towards that 13-12 round figure again. 16-9 to nine was the first game here of this best of three in the grand finals. Uh, NIP one match away from taking yet another major tournament. So let's take a look at what happened during game one and how it kind of came to fruition there. Where very games, it looked like they may have had something coming together there, but where things fell apart as we take another look at what happened there on DE Dust 2. Here's Exist right here on the catwalk or on top of top A. That's where he made that headshot onto existence. Just another look here. Just spraying, and then he goes for the tap, and just somehow just headshots existence through the smoke. And that was a big kill for that round, too. It was just one of the rounds where NIP finally started pulling rounds together early on in the T side. Here's another round here as we take a look uh, with Exist here in the second round of that uh, second half. Get right was able to get one earlier. Again, very games. They brought it, actually brought it back and made it an 8 7 score. And this is where he just goes to town now. Is able to pick up one beautiful burst fire, make that two. And then we switch over to Get Right's POV. Makes it another, you can see, just, just great shots across the board by NIP. Both of which coming from the FAMAS, having great control and just pure play by NIP. Again, by the book. Yeah, Ex Exist especially was very strong in that game. I didn't I didn't get a chance to look up his score at the end of the game, but I think it was nearing 30 towards the end, so he really stepped it up his game. He had a he kind of had a weak match against Mouse Sports on Nuke in the second map of the semifinal, but he really looked strong here in the first map of the grand final. As we can see here in this round, they've uh, again uh, NIP had won the first and second round, making the score now 9-8 at this point. And this is the round where RPK, I believe, kills Forrest after his teammates start making noise towards A, and that allows them to enter into the B side and win this round. Yeah, this is where a nice little shot comes in there, to able to tap shot and take out Forrest. He then decides to go ahead and push up there towards the... Uh, double doors. His teammates, are, on the other hand, were dropping, but it made the enough uh, of a call to tell them to kind of rotate. This actually, though, is where the retake came into play here for NIP. This allowed them enough time. They already started rotating over here uh, towards the other bomb site. You can see RPK playing at close range. This is what you were talking about, where Kenny has decided to go ahead and push up. RPK takes out one, make that two, and then picks up the third. Uh, but then you have to one member you always have to worry about from NIP, and that's get right. And that round actually had the potential to kind of shift the momentum towards very games this way, because I, if I recall correctly, I think NIP was starting to be fairly low on money. So had Smiths connected that shot on to get right, it could have forced NIP on a save round, and that really could have allowed very games to get back into the game, which never actually happened in the second half. So that's game one there between NIP and Very Games in the grand final out of this best of three for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We're going to be moving over to the Dream Arena here for the second map. So make sure you stay tuned to, and kind of uh, get your popcorn ready. Can NIP do it again in game number two? We'll find out after the break here against Very Games right here from DreamHack Winner. Again, I'm Corey Dunn alongside Lurpus, and we'll be right back after the break. 